Item number SCP-3211. Index worth remembering and avenging. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3211-1 is to be stored in a cryogenically frozen containment unit. Under no circumstances are personnel to have direct visual contact with SCP-3211-1 should they request testing. Any information regarding SCP-3211-1 is to be retrieved and stored in the Foundation database with its full name censored or replaced with SCP-3211-1. Should any personnel become affected by SCP-3211, they are to receive immediate amnestic treatment. Any civilians found to be under the effects of SCP-3211 are to be detained, interviewed, and given Class B amnestics before being released. Description SCP-3211 is a phenomenon regarding the suicide of an Asian American woman, aged approximately 29 years old, designated SCP-3211-1. Subjects who are able to comprehend SCP-3211-1's full name or have direct visual contact with its corpse believe that it was murdered and are compelled to locate the supposed murderer. These effects can be reversed through the use of amnestics. In addition, subjects under the effects of SCP-3211 develop a background for SCP-3211-1, recalling aspects about its life that they believe could potentially lead to clues in its murder. These memories differ wildly from subject to subject describing entirely different lifestyles for SCP-3211-1, the only constant between each recollection being it living alone in a two-bedroom apartment without any living family. Typically, subjects describe SCP-3211-1 as having an exciting or dangerous life. Examples of recollections include working for the Italian Mafia, being a politician and campaigning for a cause, or traveling the world. Information gathered on SCP-3211-1 prior to its death has confirmed that it did live in an apartment as described and any direct family was deceased. However, its background has yet to match any of those described by subjects under the effects of SCP-3211. It has been determined that SCP-3211-1's life was not particularly eventful, unlike those described by subjects. It is currently unknown whether SCP-3211-1's suicide was due to its depression or another reason altogether.